Thank you. Honorable Governor, Sri Anand Ravi, his gracious lady wife, Srimati Lasmi Ravi, and daughter, Miss Shistri, Shisti Ravi, who accompanied them. Honorable colleagues, Deputy CM, Yandan Pedan, and former CM, the leader of NPF Legislative Party, Sri Tia Ziliang, respected pastor Sean Kigon, senior pastor of Faith Harvest Church, Kohima, my honorable colleagues, advisors, MLAs, and senior government officials of center and the state leaders from civil societies, tribal hosts, NGOs, and ladies and gentlemen. On an occasion like this, it is always difficult to find the right words to express one's feeling. Today, as we gathered here for reasons that came suddenly, unexpectedly, and sooner than we had imagined, the time has come for us to say goodbye to our respected Honorable Governor, Sri Arun Ravi, and his lady wife, Srimati Lakshmi Ravi. As a person well acquainted with the Nagas, as said by the former speakers, Nagas and her long history of struggle and expression, you will agree that your tender in Ireland and its fair share of challenges, and there is a lot which still needs to be achieved. Perhaps Government of India needs your services and expertise for a more challenging role as a governor of a much bigger state of Tamil Nadu, where people are more matured and civilized. And the state is much more developed, unlike our state, Nagaland, which is going through a very difficult time. We are happy for you, and we wish you well. Honorable Sir, at the outset, as you lay down the responsibilities of the Office of Governor for Nagaland. I wish to sincerely thank you for your numerous contribution to the state of Nagaland. Tonight, time will not permit me to recount all your achievements as the Government of India and Ecolator for the Naga Peace Talk and as the governor of Nagaland State. The Nagal believed in you and welcomed you with open arms when you arrived. You did your best in the Naga political talks to a condom jam during your time as an interlocutor. Landmark Framework, uh, framework Agreement with the NSCN IM signed on the 3rd August 2015, followed by the Accord, which was signed, the agreed 
position with the RNBGs on the 17th, 2017 and 17th November bears ample testimony to your hard work and <clears throat> negotiating skills. The history will record and will remain a part of Naga history. It was our desire that a solution would come into effect during your tenure. But there are complex and difficult issues involved and desired outcomes still elude us. I am, however, hopeful that upon the foundation laid by these two agreements, the Nagas will ultimately see the final settlement of the almost century-old Naga political issue. And this will bring us the resultant peace, stability, development, and prosperity, which have eluded many generations of the Nagas. As you are aware, all the political parties in Nagaland have now come together to facilitate the early solution to the Naga political issue. Let us hope that in the goodness of time, the Naga solution to which you have played a major role will become a reality. And with that hope, we continue, will continue to work. As governor, you have exuded genuine concern for the development and welfare of the state, as explained by my former speakers. And you have done whatever is possible within the constraint of the state resources available with us. To expedite and improve implementation of various infrastructural and welfare projects in the state. You have also contributed a lot in our battle against COVID-19. On few occasions, you have even pushed us and pulled us up whenever you found us wanting. We all took this in good spirit because we know you did this in good faith. And your love, your love for your duty and the people. And out of your genuine concern for the state and the people. As a person, I found you to be a genuine and down-to-earth human being without any pretensions in discharging your duties. You are a sincere and hard-working professional. The statement is recorded. Always doing what you think is right without fear or favor. You will always be remembered with gratitude by the Naga people for your concern and hard work and for many things you did achieve in a difficult situation. Sir, I can assure you that down long memory lane of history, which is yet to be written, the people of Nagaland will remember that you have tried your best, both as governor and as interlocutor, for the Naga political issue. And to ensure that there is peace, <coughs> prosperity, and development in the state of Nagaland. As you are aware, to assume your new assignment as the governor of Tamil Nadu. On behalf 
of my government and the people of the state. And on my own behalf, I wish you, your wife and your children, Godspeed, good health and best of luck. Please forgive and forget any unpleasant experience of your working and stay here in Nagaland. Because we all work for the people and nothing in our personal interest. And continue to carry with you good memories of your short stay here. You are fully aware of the Naga people's hope and deep desire for a peaceful and early resolution of the Naga issue. And as you know, the complexities involved, please continue making your best effort for the peaceful resolution of the Naga issue and continue to be our benefactor and our goodwill ambassador wherever you go. I would like to quote a Bible verse from Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become worry in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap and harvest if we do not give up. With that hope, till we meet again, I once again convey my sincere thanks for all the good things that you have done for the people of Nagaland, and also wish to say goodbye and all our best wishes to you and your family members. Thank you and God bless.